All right, man, let's talk about uh, John Kaminsky saying that the Lions' second uh, defensive uh, unit, is, defensive line unit, is just as strong as the first. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Got to brush, comb my beard out or a nap up. You know how I go, black man. We know how I go. But um, in years past, it's definitely kind of been the case. That's one thing that the Lions have been consistently good at is having a good uh, way as a defensive lineman. For whatever reason, that's one thing that go right in Detroit. I mean, back when you had Sammy Hill, Willie Young, you know, just going through the years, Cliff Averill. Remember that kid from Tampa came here? What was his name? George Johnson. He had one good year here, left here for more money, and never did nothing else in the NFL again. I mean, you know, we, we had uh, – I always forget the other kid name who played with uh, – Next to Sean Rogers too, he had the braids. He got he was caught smoking. When he caught smoking in like the hotel or something, I forget that man's name. It was Corey something. I mean Andre Fluellen was a dog here. Um, Ziggy Ansa, you know, before he got injured, he was a dog. And Dominican Sue, Nick Fairley had that one big big game versus uh, New Orleans when Dominican Sue got suspended for stumping on old boy arm. I think it was. So that's one thing the Lions have been consistently good at, you know, trying to find nicknames over the years for some of the defensive lines, linemen. So, you know, to get back to that is good. And, you know, when you look at it, he might be right. You don't know who's going to start or who's not going to start. They got a prefla of guys who can stuff the run in the middle of the defensive nine. Benito Jones, Isaiah Bugs, Aleem McNeil, he's down like 304 pounds or five pounds. What's the difference? Um... And then you got uh, the kid, Broderick Martin, all them run stoppers. But that's cool to have them type of run stoppers in your defense, whatever. That's okay. But you need somebody that can penetrate, too. You know, so that's the interesting thing about it. You need somebody that actually can, can penetrate that defensive line. And that's why Anna Zorki and Josh Pascal come in, you know, because them big run pluggers, they good. But you need somebody to get up that defensive line and be able to, to penetrate and be able to, you know, free up for the pass rusher or whatever, eat up double team. So I don't know if they're going to play more of a base 4-3 front or they're going to play a multi front or 3-4 front, but they got the tools or, you know, they got the potential to do both because once you look at the linebackers, Barnes is, is putting it together. You know, Alex Zoni probably on borrowed time. You got the kid from Iowa, Jack Campbell. Jack Campbell. Um, you got Rodrigo. And then you got guys that can stand up and rush the passer like James Houston. Uh, a Hutchinson can stand up and rush the passer. I think Romeo struggled struggled standing up, you know, rushing the passer before the injury. So you got you got guys that can do both. We see Aiden Hutchinson dropping coverage. We know James Houston gonna be able to drop in coverage. They can put their hand in the dirt. Romeo, Julian, Kaminsky can all put their hand in the dirt. So, you know, yeah, they they not only do they got depth across, you know, uh down fly getting on my nerves. Not only do they got depth across the defensive, you know, defensive line, they got they got versatility across the defensive line. That's the difference. They got versatility across the defensive line. That that's that's a big difference. They got versatility across that defensive line. So once you look at the versatility that they're bringing across that defensive line. Where you can just mix and mix and mix and choose across the multi front, he might be right, and somebody might be the odd guy out. Charles Harris can stand up and rush the passer, so somebody gonna be the odd person out on that defensive line, and that's the crazy thing about it. Let's injury come, um, because you got four run pluggers: McNeil, Jones, Bugs, and Broderick Martin. You got four pluggers. Then you look outside of the defensive end. You got Kaminsky who signed a two-year deal. You got James Houston can stand up and put his hand in dirt so he can be a linebacker and be a pass rusher. So he kind of got versatility. You got Josh Pascal who got versatility who can be inside, outside. You got Romeo, Julian, one of them or both of them could be out. Charles Harris, Aiden Hutchinson. So that's seven guys that I count. I know uh, Austin Bryant who was a good you know, special teams player we drafted. He in San Francisco right now. So yeah, you I mean you got you got about eight, nine, ten, eleven guys I count across that defensive line. So it could be one 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 guy could be the odd man out. And I'm probably starting to think it's probably gonna be one of those Coral brothers. And Romeo coming off another he had another cleanup surgery too, so uh but then again, maybe not, because you look at the linebackers, you could say James James Houston is a linebacker. 
That's the beautiful thing about it. Because then you go to linebacker core, you got a Jack Campbell, Anazoni, Barnes, Rodrigo. So that's four. You know, and basically that's, you know, you probably just need five linebackers because basically everybody playing the base dot nickel coverage. That's what everybody paying, playing. So, you know, so basically you you got a good defensive, good waves, a defensive line. And I didn't even add my bad. You got more than eight. You got Zorky in there too. So, yeah, somebody might have to be the odd person out if all these guys remain healthy. So, you know, but really I think, you know, how this, this, how this defensive line going to perform is going to come down to the what they get out of Anna Zorky and Josh Pascal penetrating up the middle of that defense. That's what it's going to boil down to. If they don't get no penetration up the middle of the defense, Aiden Hutchinson won't have a, a big leap, uh, a big two-year leap. Nobody going to have a great stack record, a rushing record, in my opinion. You're going to have some good guys around five to eight sacks, you know. But I really think this is about the penetration they get up the middle. If they don't get that penetration up the middle of that defense, you know, it's going to be a problem. That's what they need. If they get that penetration, then, you know, that's what's going to bother Patrick Mahomes, Dak Prescott, Jordan Love, Kirk Cousins. That's what's really going to, that's what's really going to power them, to be honest. Going to bother them, that pressure up their faith. And that's going to make Aiden Hutchinson's job a lot easier on the edge. Charles Harris' job a lot easier on the edge. And James Houston a lot easier, man. But them big uglies in the middle, as far as the Jones, McNeil, you know, and the guys, Brodrick Martin, they can stop the run. That's going to that's gonna be able to keep the linebackers clean and going sideline to sideline and get downhill without getting touched. So, but, yeah, you know, it's encouraging to hear. And then at that point, you know, linebackers starting to take the jump. They like what Jack Campbell doing. They like the jump Brod, uh, Derek Barnes is making. And then really on the back end, you I only got two questions. How are they going to jail in the back end together? And then who gonna be on? Who gonna who gonna be who gonna be the backup to Jerry Jacobs and uh, uh, Cam Sutton? That's my biggest concern. That's my biggest concern. Who gonna back them up? Who gonna back them up? So, other than that, we'll see how they do in joint practices on um, come Tuesday, and you know, uh, see how it roll out. But hey, uh, Kaminsky might be on something, but it ain't the first time the Lions had a lot of depth across that defensive line at all. It's just that they didn't have the other things around the team to really get the most out of that defensive line. So let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Appreciate your chance. Get notifications. We go live. We drop video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Peace.